Hello Aries, thank you so much for being here you guys and my apologies for being late. I have not been feeling the greatest and please forgive my voice. I sound like crap right now, but thank you so much for being here you guys. All right Aries, I have to do this and I might get demonetized for this, but I'm going to try to keep it under 30 seconds because I swear to God, as soon as I sat down to do your reading, I was hearing earth, wind and fire. <laughs> And I think I'm going to take a break after this and just kind of jam out to some earth, wind, and fire, right? <laughs> and I don't know who that's for, but please let me know because it's been driving me nuts ever since I sat down to do this. Manage to be glad. Create your own happiness regardless of conditions, and then you have higher power. And this one was interesting. So first of all, manage to be glad. This one is not saying that you need to eat shit and smile, okay? It is acknowledging that for some of you, things are really difficult right now. Things may be stressful for you. But it is a reminder that your happiness is in your own hands. And it's saying that you're being asked to grow the happiness that you long for. And then when you look at that with higher power, I think the best way to explain this is because it talks about your connection to the divine source, right? God, the light whatever you want to call it. If we didn't have that spark of the divine, we would just be a meat suit, right? So you have the same powers as the creative source to manifest cool ass shit, right? That's exactly what I felt like looking at this. But I also feel like for some of you, the higher power is stepping in and realizing that you need like a boost or a push to start creating more happy moments in your life because I feel like Aries is needing that joy, right? Needing those moments to just like jam out to fucking earth, wind and fire. All right, Aries. <laughs> your overall is the 10 of cups. Speaking of your happiness, there you go. Some of you are literally focused on getting to that happily ever after, right? absolute emotional fulfillment happy happy joy joy right rainbows butterflies unicorns all that shit everything is so good it feels good right a lot of times this card gets downplayed but man it's beautiful you know and i think that all of us should be more focused on how to create these moments right now, for some of you with the Ten of Cups, we could be talking about a relationship. We could be talking about a marriage. We could be talking about a family situation. But getting to that place is where the focus is right now. Oh my God, Aries. <laughs> what? What? Why is the devil following you? Oh, the devil in the past. The good news is with it being in the past, I think that, you know, for a lot of you, or breaking bad habits, you know, and then I think about justice, right? And things being corrected. You may have been in a really bad situation with the devil, or it could have just been like your own bad habits, right? But those bad habits may have been preventing you from getting to, you know, this overall happiness. Oh boy. In the present, the Three of Coins or the Three of Pentacles. So, you know, I, I feel good about this, but there's a reason why the devil is still coming through. And it may be something that still needs to be addressed. So it may be something that is like trapping you or preventing you from putting in the effort towards something. It could be a new job. It could be a new project. It could be just putting in the effort toward getting to this place of being happy but working on something with the three of coins here, right? Now, for some of you, if there has been like negative situations going on within your home life, within your family, with the three of pentacles in the present moment, we're trying to work on that now, right? But hopefully the devil doesn't prevail here and somebody gives up the effort, you know, but we'll see here. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. <laughs> Oh, the Wheel of Fortune. I had a feeling, looking at those Oracle cards, like the higher power stepping in. Fortunate turn of events here, right? An opportunity that may be coming your way. And it leads right to the Ten of Cups. Holy shit, Aries. But there is a risk 
because of the devil of repeating a cycle here and you don't want to do that you know i'm looking at you wanting to put in the effort towards something that is going to be long lasting this time but i i think that a lot of you don't want to get caught up in like being trapped in something that you know isn't good for you right but the wheel of fortune being in future conditions oh oh it's good it's good I would say that that is, you know, the divine, right? You want to talk about fate between those two? Yes. Your best path to follow the Knight of Swords. And you know what? Like, I always look at this and I think, first of all, the Knight of Swords is a direct communication, right? It can be harsh. It can be blunt. And sometimes words can cut, right? But maybe there is something that needs to be said right now in order to cut out anything negative with the devil but i also look at this and i think swift action right because the knight of swords doesn't hesitate he acts immediately he speaks the truth but there is something that you know has to be like stopped with the devil you know and if we are talking about family situations here, you know, there is going to be a fortunate turn of events with the Wheel of Fortune here. But it may require you to do something very direct. And it may hurt somebody else. But the thing is, is with the devil coming through, it's not something you want in your life anyway. But swift action, right? And giving someone the, the direct, honest truth. Oh, oh, Aries, <laughs> the Knight of Cups. I love him, but I don't. Now, if we're talking about you with the Knight of Cups, this could be about, you know, something that may be holding you back from putting in the effort here to accept or make an offer. And this could be definitely emotional with the Ten of Cups. Now, the problem is, is with the devil. What I worry about here is that some of you may have like a really bad habit of like not following through on, you know, doing what your heart is pulling you toward because the Knight of Cups is also about following your heart, right? But it is like somebody wanting to have an emotional connection or encounter, you know, being the messenger of love and romance, right? And it could be work, work related you know, but with the devil, mm, you know, some of you may have a bad attachment to someone and every time they come toward you, you want to put in the effort. But the thing is, is if they don't follow through, that may be where the Knight of Swords is kind of like coming through, right? You're either going to need to cut them out or be very direct with them in a way where it's like, you can't do this. You can't come in and out of my life and make these offers and not put in the effort especially with the three of pentacles because we're talking about working together right for others of you it's just something has been holding you back or trapping you and i do feel like for a lot of you it's i don't want to be trapped in something that i'm not going to be happy with right and that's understandable especially if you've experienced this in the past before but with the Knight of Cups, I mean, for some of you, it's just straight up work, right? Like, you may get a really good offer coming through. It's a very fortunate turn of events. It leads you to this overall happiness. But we got to get rid of something. And you also have to take direct action. But truth and direct communication is going to be important with the Knight of Swords being your advice here. Your hopes and your fears the seven of wands and here's what i love about this one that hand is covering the flame so that it doesn't burn out or that it doesn't you know the water doesn't hit it right we're not letting a passion die out that's what i want to say the seven of wands you know opposition does come up with this but i think that you know this is about something that's worth fighting for a passion that is important to you something that you know you don't want to like lose out on or give up on you know but going back to the knight of swords we're also talking about 
speaking up, using your voice. I usually look at this as like drawing the line in the sand. This is what I won't accept anymore, right? But this is different. This is different. You know, the fear there would be that if you give up on this, that the passion kind of dies out, you know. But I think that there's a reason why you're protecting this, you know. Hmm. I just feel more so like there's a lot of hesitation on your part, especially if this has to do with like emotional connections, you know. Now, again, for some of you, if it's work, this is like, I don't want to lose this opportunity is what it kind of feels like. Like you want to continue to fight for this, you know, but you have to accept the offer, right? But regardless, you're still looking at a very beautiful turn of events here with the Ten of Cups being the overall. And then coming out, the Six of Coins, perfect. It's perfect. If we are talking about career here, you may be getting exactly you know what you deserve to receive here with the six of coins you know we're talking about cash flow that seems to be coming up here but equal give and take right so you will be paid for your talents right like you're gonna get what you deserve here as long as you're willing to take advantage of the opportunity and put forth the effort but i also look at that and i think we can't half-ass this you can't half-ass it. If you're going to invest into an opportunity that's coming around to you, you have to, you know, give all of yourself to it, right? If you expect to have equal return. But I like it. I like all of it. It looks really good. I mean, Aries, for some of you, you're going to have to seriously cut the cord here with the devil. I'm looking at the Knight of Swords. And wherever you're keeping yourself trapped in like unhealthy thoughts, bad patterns, a bad job, a bad relationship, whatever the case may be, because it may be preventing you from putting forth effort towards something that's being offered to you that looks really good, especially with the Wheel of Fortune. So first of all, with the Two of Swords and looking at the devil, at some point, I think that you couldn't ignore a situation anymore. You may have felt like your hands were tied here and you couldn't make a choice, but I think that if you didn't make a choice, a choice was made for you, okay? But you can't, you couldn't ignore something negative going on with the devil, right? And it is about cutting something out, especially with that Knight of Swords. But once a difficult choice is made here, I think that it opens you up to being able to give and receive with the Six of Pentacles. But with the Eight of Coins and looking at this, I think that, you know, it, it's worth the effort. You really start putting in a lot of hard work here and you really want to work on this, but it requires the effort of another person, I feel like, or a group of people. But if you work together and you stay focused and determined and you accept this offer with the Knight of Cups, you have the Ace of Cups coming out. And yes, for some of you, it will have to do with love, right? In a, in a fortunate turn of events where there's an opportunity opening up. You may have had your hands tied before where you couldn't make the most of this or couldn't work on it. But when you start working on it, man, with the Eight of Coins, you're talking about busting your ass, putting in a lot of effort, a lot of effort. But for the Ace of Cups, it's worth it. It's worth it, especially with the Ten of Cups being the overall. It's a beautiful reading, Aries. And then honesty is essential. To be a loving person, it's important that we speak truthfully and in a loving manner. So the truth is going to be important here. Honesty is going to be important when it comes to how you feel and what you're wanting and what you're putting your effort toward and what you're expecting in return. But you have to find the strength here to take advantage of this opportunity and to cut the cord on the negative in your life, right? But beautiful. It's a beautiful reading. And I'm telling you, I, I want to know who the hell is listening to September, right? Like, send me a message on my Facebook page. Like, I want to see it. <laughs> but it's a beautiful reading, Aries. I think that things are finally working out for you in a way where you get to experience that happiness, right? And we're just starting here with that Ace of Cups. But the Ten of Cups being the overall, that's a beautiful place to be. 